All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're live on our social media, so we invite you to tell a friend and share us. Yeah. But in studio with us, a very, very special guest, we had the young ladies from Black Lightning on a couple of months ago. Mm. And now we have one of the brothers who plays one of the main characters and um, is, uh, in fact, uh, Tobias Miles. Yeah, Tobias and, Well. Tobias Well, I'm sorry, Tobias Well. Yeah. In um, Black Lightning, yeah. the actor... Uh, extraordinaire and rapper, yeah, Marvin Jones in hey, the house man. with us. What's up, brother? Hey, brother, how are you good doing? Good to man? see you, man. You good? Hey, thank you, man. I'm great, man. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you, man. How's yeah. the show going? Show is doing great. Show has um, been getting an overwhelming response, in my opinion. Uh, it's been overwhelming to me. Um, number two on CW, um, after the Flash. You know, the Flash been on a long time. Uh -huh. uh, first black superhero family on network television, and um, you know. Shout out to Salim I kill and Mar Brock I kill, yeah. you know, for bringing us to bring us in the homes of America. What what difference does it make? How big of a difference does it make to have a black superhero film on television? Um, it's 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 a difference. It it makes a difference in this sense, my brother, mm -hmm. that growing up, you know. Um, in America and in the hoods of America, the ghettos of America, you very rarely see yourself on television right. in a positive way. Right, right, right. Very rarely. I think you can count on one hand right. five situations in uh, major network television sitcoms and or dramas mm -hmm. where, where African Americans or people of color, Latin or what have you, are viewed in a positive light, an empowering light. Weekly. Weekly <laughs> for right, a season, right, 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 you know what I'm right, right, right. Um, and you know, we've had you know very few examples of that, you know, since the beginning of the idea that is television. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the comic book era and the genre of comic books, where you you know that whether you're DC or Marvel, if you're an African American in the hood or a, p a person of color, you didn't see yourself in That's these right. comics, That's you know, right. and you and you, but you loved them. You mm -hmm. loved the stories. You loved the imagination that was behind them, and what they represented, you know, for the world over, and the hope that they represented. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I believe no one needs hope more than black people. No, no question so, about it. So so no one, you know, should at the at in that hope, you know, and in that anguish that we faced in America, I think that we sh we have the most superheroes in our community. That's right, that's right. You know, whether it be black mothers, black fathers, single, or what have you, you <laughs> understand? <laughs> so um, it's just important for people to turn on television, and not just black people, um, all walks of life, to turn on the television and see people of color empowered. Yeah, yeah. You know, thing. Cornell West, Dr. Cornell West. Hey, uh, one of my it. favorite human beings. We well, you know, he has a saying. Right. Uh, above Marvin, that when people see a black person just walking down the street, yeah. they should just applaud. Amen. <laughs> just applaud. Even if you don't know him, don't speak to him, just start applauding. Just when people see one walking that, in the room, just, just applaud. Hey, man. <laughs> so you're right. We, we all, that, we all have to be superheroes. Though. Yeah. Hey, we do have to be superheroes, my yeah, brother. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, you know, <laughs> and it's true, you mm -hmm. know. When you when you you see a guy, you know I think that's what makes like a comedian like Dave Chappelle so funny, is because he he tells the truth about us, you know, to us and to them too, um, and, in regards to where you know he says something in his in, in his recent comedy thing where he says you know he had the opportunity to think about how he feels and 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 that's something that most right. black people don't get the right. opportunity to do right, especially right. young black men mm -hmm. in the in the struggles and stripes of America we don't even get the opportunity to think to ourselves well, how am I feeling today? Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. So, that's right. you know, and that, you know, that can go into a deeper mental health issues and all right. of that that come right. along with that. So, um, yeah, man, it, it, it's important that we have examples um, of greatness in, in multimedia, like yourself, not just, you know, on television, but in all forms of media. Yeah. We have to have yeah, examples of greatness and, and, and we have to applaud them, support them, uh, stand by them. By any means. Yeah, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. So obviously when this opportunity came up, it was pretty much a no brainer for you. Just Oh to, yeah, to they was where they gonna give it to me. Then yeah. you know, when any job like <laughs> yeah. you want the job, yeah. but are you going are they gonna give it to you? So uh -huh. you know, I feel blessed, man, beyond words to 
um, have the opportunity to be a part of something so impactful and powerful for my community and, and, and for the world over, for comic books to be breaking a stigma in the comic book world, which is such a vast world that yeah. I grew up yeah. loving yeah. Yeah. And, and, and wanting to be a part of. You know, Batman was my favorite. Me too. Indeed. And you know why? Because we probably close to the why. same age, but Black Panther had waned. It wasn't right. out there as much. Right. See, it's a, it's a, this is a resurgence of Black Panther. Indeed. But we like Batman because he wore black. He wore black. That was it. And when we wanted to dress up. I'm glad you said I tell people that all the time. Yeah. I do a lot of interviews. They say, well, why Batman? Right, said, there well, it is. Because he wore black. Yeah, that's right. And he was human. He, 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 that's he, true. That's he, true. He, he, he wore, I know for us in the hood, he wore black. He had a lot of money. Yeah, right. Yeah. And 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 he was human. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was human. Right. You know, it, it, it's not like he had to go through anything but a hardship. He lost his parents. Yeah. You know, he didn't have to go through, you know, some kind of meta human, you know, not there's anything wrong with that, especially in the comic book world. But he, it was something that was super relatable about him. And and when you look at Black Lightning and you look at Jefferson Pierce and his story, especially his backstory. Uh -huh. There's something super relatable to him too, in the way that he lives his life daily. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. No. That's 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 real. It is relatable. Tell us a bit about about your character because your your character is relatable also. Ah, indeed. Uh, Tobias Well, my character, is a ex politician, African American man that has albinism, which is a, a genetic disposition that you know allows him not to produce melanin, and he's suffered a lot of ridicule in his community, not only from um, his peer group, but also from his own father in, in, in growing up. And that's mm. given him uh, a motivation and a, um, a big reasoning for being a heinous and malicious manipulative crime boss, mm. you know, mm. and, and, and he carries out his acts um, with vigor and with focus, and, but he's very human in the sense that where he's very aware of himself and those around him. And and if you watch and if you're keeping up with Black Lightning, you know that he's very in touch with his emotions and, and he has a, a an endearing um, respect for excellence and mm -hmm. all things excellent. Mm -hmm. So um, that, and that lends itself to him being an intelligent man, you know, and, and having uh, an ability to adapt and an ability to be intelligent. I think through this uh, particular season, the first season that we're in, we're exploring his emotional mm -hmm. quotient and his ability to be emotionally. Um, um, uh, um, uh. So with him, you kind of take the good with the bad. It kind of reminds me of, of Killmonger. I mean, ah, Killmonger's yeah. a bad guy, you know, yeah. in Black Panther. Yeah. But there's still some some positive attributes that oh, you yeah. can't ignore that you take away from them, and that's Indeed. and that's very much our struggle too. You know, right. as Du Bois said, those two irreconcilable things going right. on right. within us. That's that's a real and thing. And we all suffer that. I'm glad yeah. you said yeah. that, yeah. good brothers. That we we all suffer from that. When, when people ask me all the time, they say, "Well, Marvin, how do you play a villain, and how are you preparing for mm -hmm. that?" You know, mm -hmm. what I say is that you know. Any human being, but of course a black man in America, you know, you're gonna have some villainous, in you know, emotions and and traits inside of you that you on a daily have to make a conscious effort to suppress. Right, right, right. And to right. put in the back of your mind instead right. of the forefront. Right. You know, whether it stems from, um, you know, poverty or you know, family issues. That's right. Or you know, mental health issues. That's right. Or drugs. That's right. Or uh, you know, crime and 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 just the the and most important out of all those things I named, I think for black men in America, the hardest thing for us to do is survive. Mm. Simple. That's right. Just That's in right. one word, survive. That's right. So That's when right. you when you put it, um. You know, in in that, you know, we all are suppressing a whole lot of stuff inside of us on a daily basis, and it might come out in a villainous way. Um, you know, in characters like Tobias Well and Killmonger, you see that duality. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. that where okay, these brothers have they may have, uh, you know, reasoning and purpose behind what they're doing, you know, but at the same time, they're very conflicted, you know, yeah, and yeah. and and conflicted internally based off of the things that they've experienced. Yeah. Yeah. The things that they didn't choose, the world right. put those things on them. Right. So. Right. Right. No, that's that's real. Did 
you're from South Central. Yes, sir. Did your experience being growing up in South Central, living there, mm -hmm. did that in any way and help inform you, prepare you for this character? Oh, totally. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really a rhetorical question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> right, right. Totally, totally did. Um, my my coming up in South Central, you know, it, it had its good and its bad. Um, and my experiences definitely prepared me for the character that is Tobias Well, You know, the, the bringing the human aspect to him, understanding the heinous, you know, ideas that he that he wants to to explore, um, and the acts that he wants to to um, carry out. I was able to relate to those things in a, mm -hmm. in, a in a close proximity because mm -hmm. I've witnessed them, I've heard about them, um, and 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 I know that they are true in mm -hmm. some situations. Um, but at the same time, me growing up in South Central, I was also able to, like I say again, bring that human aspect to yeah. him yeah. to yeah. where people can understand where he's coming from, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. why. Because again, I, I think that, you like, the, these are the girls downstairs who watch the show, um, mm -hmm. and, and what I see in them, especially our people when they come to me, you know, in, in reception, is that they understand Tobias well. Yeah. They get it. Yeah. They know someone like him. Right. You right, know what I mean? Right, Who's right. been through a lot. Right. And that and that what he what he's been through has driven him down this particular road. Yeah. But but that road is not something that he necessarily might have chose given another option. Yeah. yeah. So um but with my character, I think he's very comfortable and settled in on being yeah. A yeah. jerk. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's comfortable there, bro. Totally. Um, Marva Jones uh, here with us, folks, uh, in the studio. Yeah. So we're talking about portraying um, a black superhero on weekly television on screen. Yeah. Uh, which is the small screen, although the small screen may as well be the big B, may as well be the big screen. Now, now. It's all overlapping. Yeah. Right, right. Um, but now I can't recall ever seeing one who's an albino actor mm -hmm. or actress on the mainstream screen. Am, have I? No. I? I don't think so. You've never seen it. So that is pretty groundbreaking too, isn't it? It's unbelievable, man. When we okay. say it, um, when I hear you say it, and I say it all the time, <laughs> um, but, you know, to hear someone like yourself, you know, um, a black man of high intelligence, I can tell. Bless you. Um, who is able to recognize one, his self, you know, in me. You understand what I'm saying? Who will you say, well, no, nah, I've never seen an African-American Albinism, no. You know, so you seeing yourself and the uniqueness in yourself on TV. Yeah. And you've never seen that. So it, first of all, it's unique to see yourself on TV. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. every time we as black people right. see ourselves right. on TV, we stop, right? you know, and we pay attention to whatever that is. And like you just articulated, I represent a first, even amongst the African-American community in the world of creatives and actors, right? Yeah. On a mainstream um, television show, a network television show that is Black Lightning on the CW, um, in, in itself is, you know, Something that I, I never even imagined that I would be able to even say, yeah. you know. Um, I always tried not to be the first of anything. I heard that it's not good to be the first of anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would have to say, man, by by the grace of my Father God, I would I, I take this one, yeah. you know, because I'm not the first on television. I'm not the first in film. I'm not the first in create um, um, in um, in arts and creativity. Um, and by no means am I, and but I am the first on network television to okay. have a pivotal and prime role, starring role, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on um, you know a hit show, yeah. and and to be given not just a villain role, um, which is the yin to Black Lightning's yang, right, or right, the, right, vice versa, right, but at the same time to be able to tell the story correctly. Yeah about being an African-American in America with albinism. See, yeah. we, we were able to touch on that. You know, we, we were doing all the cool stuff that every villain gets to do. And I'm being able to act in ways that actors wait 20 years to get the opportunity and responsibility that I have on this show. And, and in some longer. 
and some never get it. Yeah. So that's a blessing in itself. Yeah. But to be able to represent you know, a group of people inside a group of people that are never represented. Oh man, that's how I know it's God. It's not me. Yeah. It's yeah. not me, bro. I'm not here by any chance or circumstances, only by the grace of God. And no, I, you're and, right. and 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 I, and I I take all of that humbly and respectfully. No, no, and 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 we appreciate that and uh, and and honor that. I, I wish we had more time. Um, yeah, so but, do I. Folk, but folks, but uh, folks, they already giving me the signal in the other okay. window. Actually, we we a little we tripping a little bit because just next door to us, yeah, uh, Cardi B was Cardi taking B a break from door. some and her. I mean, she just left. She waved and to me, was, y'all too. <laughs> did she? Did she wave at you? Yeah, that's she great. Did. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to go get her waving me or get a picture or something. I want a picture too. Well, you're gonna be here for a minute, so I'm, right. I'm gonna help you. We're gonna Please, we're gonna get work that out. We're gonna do a little Tobias and I gonna get a picture with Cardi B. Needs a picture with Cardi B, man. But but folks, I wish we had more time, but. Um, because I, I, if we had more time, I would definitely go into some of the struggles that our albino sisters and brothers you know, have to face growing up and going through school well, I and everything. You even just saying that, man. and 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 just in terms of my exposure, they see them give me a little signal. Yeah, they yeah. they um, <laughs> uh, uh, see now he's supposed here. to be handling Cardi yeah. B. Why don't y'all deal with Cardi B and leave me and Marvin right, alone? You know, right, they, y'all right, sweat. Right. But anyway, uh, <laughs> they do want to ma- macromanage everything. Right. But the point is. In my upbringing, right. we were all the same. Yes, sir. And while my mother was not albino, my mother was very fair. Yeah. Like a lot of people. So I'm yeah. like, what, you know, and yeah. I had to be told, I said, well, I don't understand what the difference is. And it was, you know, kind of explained to me. Right. But what's interesting, and this is an existential question, next time you come back, we have to get into okay. it. You mentioned the lack of melanin. Yeah. Well, technically, white folks don't have melanin. Right. They still come from African people. So... Why are they tripping, thinking they so different? But it's a whole. I other. love you so much. I, yeah, that's I, I want to come thing. back. I promise me, I can come back. Please, 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 please. And I, I talk to my publicist because that, <laughs> because um, one thing that I, I always when I'm on radio or do interviews, one thing that I do is 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 if we I know we got to go, but really quick, based on what this brother just said, come on, what people with albinism represent to white folks, uh-huh. to black folks, to Asian folks, to people that are Latin, is that there's one God, Woo. and he created one gene pool, and the gene pool started genetically with melanin. Yes. And, and and yet it did, it carries over into us all. And that's why every human life form, mm-hmm. and every form of life has albinism in it. Every living thing. It's, it's too much, y'all. Listen. So that's a deep conversation. There's another one. So support this brother. Let's, let's support what he's do doing. Man. The first on network television. That, Thank you. This show is so positive. Website for uh, you personally. For me, my website is uh, www.crondon.com. You still doing music too? I'm still doing music for okay. sure. 100. Strongarmsteady.net. I got a new album coming out next year, or hopefully. Well, depending on the show got me so busy, we just got renewed for season two. Okay. You so, see all these big studios. Yeah. You need to come here and perform that too. I promise. Then we we'll had this follow up conversation. We will get an audience in I here. I promise. Do a live performance. I promise. Crondon. Hey, y'all, bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. All right. right. I appreciate you so much, man. (laughs) Thank you, man. All right. All right.